This is the last video we're recording using crappy internal audio. Let's finally switch to a $20 microphone. That's another flagship killer. Let's get right into it. So this is the BYM1 from Boya and this is $20 and it has some big claims. Remember that Boat Rockers video I made not so long ago? Yeah, if you don't, just go check it out right here. And this seems like a sweet deal, especially because this is on discount right now. 50% off, just $10, find the link in the description. Anyways, flipping this open, we've got some stuff inside here. This is a pretty jam-packed box. I'm gonna throw this down. Uh, and we've got this pouch. This is unorthodox for uh, a budget microphone. We've got some accessories in here. Starting off with, of course, Boya stickers. Bye-bye to them. We've got Who Wants Silica Gel? No, you don't? You're good? Okay. What else we got? Okay. This is a whole jigsaw puzzle of cables. Oh, I got it out easily. So it's a, this is weird. This is such a long cable and what is this? Anyone in the comments tell me what this is? Anyway, we've got this stuff, cables, and this is huge, by the way. And we got this. Bye bye to the carrying case. Onto the entire Ziploc bag. Oh no, this is not Ziploc, never mind. And in here, we got some more stuff. So we got a nice little adapter again. This looks like 3.5 millimeters to 6. Point something millimeters. Get that to the side. We've got. Why have they given us? Oh, that's for the condenser. Never mind. It's cotton. And I can't get it out. Now I can. So very. So judging from this, it looks like the mic itself is tiny. So I'll set that aside. We've got looks like the main mic itself in a ziploc bag i'm not going to open it for now set that aside and we've got batteries uh these look like your round batteries and it looks like this packaging is not too good uh, anything else in here no finally in the box anyone interested for some paperwork no you good okay so the first thing you'd want to do is attach this condenser or windscreen as it's also called to the microphone. Then clip the clip to the microphone. Did you see what I did there? And then clip the clip to part of your clothing. Yes, clip the clip to your clothing. Then you'd want to insert batteries if you're going to use this with one of your hi-fi DSLRs. The way you do that is just hold the top in the bottom of this interface and turn until you get this layer turning and until it comes off. Not really, but until it separates. Then you can see our round battery fitted right there in the circuit. And you can just attach it right there if there's a slot. So that's how you get this set up. As far as build quality goes, this thing is pretty generic. It's what you'd expect for $20. AKA plastic. Yeah, kind of a bummer. Well, it's good plastic, mind you, but it is plastic. Thankfully though, we do have a metal clip, which looks kind of cool, to be honest, but I can see people not really liking the finish. The cable, however, is just standard rubber. We do have this panel over here, uh, which has another clip. 
and a smartphone slash camera switch. Note that to use it with a DSLR or a camera, you will need to insert batteries like we showed. This cable, which is 20 meters long. Yes, this cable, which is 20 meters long, ends in a 3.5 millimeter jack. So again, it's pretty generic, but again, it's what you'd expect from a budget microphone. But what are its numbered specs? So this is an omnidirectional polarity, a frequency response of 65 hertz to 18 kilohertz, an output of negative 30 decibels, an impedance of 1000 ohms, a battery type of LDR44, and an apparent battery time of 700 hours. And a subscription to the channel would be rapturous. Yeah. What? In English, not in specs language, this actually sounds pretty sweet. It's good for your everyday tasks like attending Zoom calls and recording stuff for YouTube, which is precisely what I'll be doing with this mic. Yeah, you can see that in future videos. And it's good for some long distance things where the cable is quite long. By the way, I made a blunder. It is six meters and not 20 yeah. meters. So in general terms, this is quite a good microphone for its money. But can we hear it, you ask? Well, of course. So this is a quick test of my microphone. I'm sitting across the room from the laptop and it's clipped to my shirt. I've clipped the clip to my shirt. I'm also making noise on my keyboard. And you can see that even though it's across from the room, it's substantiated part of that noise. So overall, this sounds pretty sweet. So, what is my verdict? Yes, let's do a typical tech with Phoenix style. Look, it's good for $20 again. Just like the Boat Rockers 450 was a good headphone for $20, this is a good microphone for $20. You're getting what you're paying for. And there are corners to cut, namely the build quality, and I guess it's not the most sounding microphone. It doesn't have the best gain for sure. But hey, you're paying $20. Good enough for me. YouTubers, there's a lot of YouTubers that use this microphone. But let me know in the comments, what do you think? And which microphones do you use if you film at all? Alright guys, this is Phoenix, signing off, I'll see you next time.